related work. In the literature, there exist many comprehensive studies on VOT. Each study focuses on specific research aspects going on in the field. Vias et al. classified the tracking algorithms into correlation and non-correlation filter-based trackers. An extensive experimental study was performed over handcrafted and deep feature trackers. Similarly, Lee et al. also studied the deep trackers and categorized deep trackers into three classes including network structure, network function, and network training. Liang et al. discussed single-target trackers while Zhang et al. performed their study over the sparse trackers. Yang et al. focused on the context information by considering auxiliary objects as the target context of the tracking object. These studies have been performed by tireless efforts made by the research community and developed various state-of-the-art trackers. The tracking algorithms can be classified as tracking by detection, discriminative correlation filters, deep convolutional neural networks, and Siamese network-based trackers. In many tracking algorithms, classifiers are considered as the fundamental part to discriminate the target object from non-target objects such as support vector machine, SVM, random decision forest, as well as various boosting-based classifiers. Classifiers are updated to integrate the new target appearance during online learning in various tracking by detection algorithms. For example, Multiple Instance Learning Framework proposed by Baybinko et al. Employed gradient boosting to learn the classifiers. Hare et al. Utilized structured output to estimate the target location and employed SVM for online adaptive tracking. Zhang et al. Applied base classifiers for online adaptation of the target over a multi-scale feature space built on a data-dependent basis. The development of trackers based on correlation filters has boosted the tracking performance. Bulma et al. proposed a fast tracker by minimizing the sum of squared error, SSC, between the actual output and the desired output in the frequency domain. Kernelized correlation filters, KCF, utilize the multi-channel features using circulant matrices in the Fourier domain and use the Gaussian kernel function to discriminate a target from the background. The discriminative correlation filter trackers have their own limitations such as they require to fix model and patch sizes. A model may learn undesired information resulting in reduced performance. SRDCF introduces a spatial regularization method in discriminative correlation trackers to reduce the effect of background information by penalizing it. SirCFDCON proposed by Denethlion et al. tackled the contaminated training samples to improve robustness. Lee et al. proposed SDRCF that integrates the temporal regularization in SRDCF using a passive-aggressive algorithm to improve the tracking performance. CSRDCF incorporates the channel and spatial reliability within correlation filters. CSRDCF integrates the spatial reliability using a spatial binary map at the target location, while the channel reliability by estimating the channel and detection reliability metrics. Deep convolutional neural networks have presented an outstanding performance in many computer vision applications. Deep learning has limitations due to limited training data and high computational cost. However, much progress has been made and many state-of-the-art deep trackers have been proposed. Nam et Han employed CNN to develop a multi-domain adaptive deep tracker. Nam et al. integrated CNN in a tree structure to model the target appearance. A tree is constructed from multiple hierarchical CNN-based target appearances. Ma et al. exploited the rich hierarchical deep features using correlation filters. Chi et al. hedged the weak classifiers and obtained a strong classifier by captivating the benefit from multi-level deep features. Tracking by matching is one of the most basic concepts in tracking where target pixels are directly compared with the input patches from the video. Brickley and Hanebeck introduced the simplest template matching mechanism in tracking via a normalized cross-correlation. TLD Tracker also employs normalized cross-correlation mechanism. Later on, many template matching trackers focused on distorted tracking objects. Wang et al. performed matching using super pixels. Wen and Smolders used color invariants to discriminate targets from the background. Godek et al. employed hog features for probabilistic matching. Held et al. used deep regression networks for matching. Bert Netto et al. exploited fully convolutional features to compute the correlation between the target and the search patches. In this section, 
We notice that various tracking algorithms have been proposed to solve the tracking problem but still research area is active. We also observe that there exist different comprehensive surveys that focus on various tracking frameworks. On the contrary, we present a study on Siamese networks employed in tracking. We categorize the Siamese trackers into three categories. Moreover, we also evaluated the robustness of the different Siamese trackers.